up everyone? Hop Curious here with the Sampler Series Hamilton Family Brewery. We are doing a Tropical Blend Hazy Double IPA here. It's 8.4% uh, alcohol and it's got uh, real pineapples, real mango, strawberries, and papaya. So uh, let's dig in. That tropically smell, mm. I get. Yeah, I get really right good. off the bat, All like right. 100% and it's like, I can't tell if it's maybe like yeah, I was gonna say it's the pineapple that it does it, but it almost it almost seems characteristic of like a coconutty smell, hmm. and I don't know if that's just because it's like a bunch of different fruits mixed together with whatever hops they use that makes it that. But I, I and maybe it's just the pineapple that that's really giving me that that pineapple. island characteristic. But coconut for some reason or coconut milk is what like I feel like I'm, I'm smelling right off the bat. So I drink a lot of coconut water. And I think that's technically coconut milk, but um, uh, I don't get the coconut that you're talking about. But mm -hmm. the pineapple for me is what sets it yeah. apart from yeah. the other berry blend that we had and the mango double hazy IPA. So I think for me, you know, pie to me never really had an aroma. So we'll see if that comes out more in the flavor. And, and to compliment that, I would not have thought pineapple had not set it. But I get it. I, I, I get that very pungent, uh, citru almost citrusy kind of smell. Not, not exactly a, a lemon or, or an orange, but definitely some kind of uh, uh, tropical fruit kind of right. thing. But it's definitely not like a mango or uh, a passion fruit. That's not what I'm getting. If so, you had blindfolded me, I would have thought it was guava or papaya or something like yeah. that. I like the okay. guava. That's I like that. Honestly, none of those flavors, aside from maybe the pineapple, overwhelms me right off the top. So it feels more like a tropical mix, right. relatively speaking. Can we taste? Yeah, let's taste. Let's taste. Whoa! There's the papaya. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's definitely yeah. more bitterness than I originally thought. Um, okay, I'm gonna also, go with. I'll put that one out. I'm gonna go with, dude. This tastes like, car like very, very similar. I can't remember what tropical starburst this is, but it's like it's like the red. It's like that red tropical no, starburst. No, it's like the yellow. Or maybe, I mean, maybe. It's but like that blue color. I'm just busting your, really busting your balls. But like, balls. like, dude, that's like what I feel like <laughs> when I drink it. It's so sweet and juicy and like. No, but it's the like it feels juice. like I'm like I'm like having candy. But it's like the bitter at the end that I think really defines it. I don't get bitter at all. I, None I, at all. Not even in the back end. Zero. Wow. I, I, I get that. I get that bitter. Really? Thank you. Oh, and it, it does actually help to level it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't. And I feel like to me it tastes like just straight tropical candy. Like I like Skittles, like tropical Skittles, tropical Starburst. That's what this tastes like. Like it just mm. sits there in your mouth. It's a lingerer. That's what I'm getting out of it. This tastes like guava kerns, like the neck. Oh, yes. yes. That's what this is. There you is. go. <laughs> there is like, there's no way to put, go around and like, oh, it's guava nectar. That's what it is. I, I don't get guava, but uh, I think those kerns nectar cans yeah. are a good description. And so one. like, I would pick something probably a little bit more on the pineapple mix with mango side. Mm. But uh, yeah. Those kinds of nectar are probably like a great description of what this beer is. What would you guys uh, rate this beer? Let's start with uh, DJ. If it's not seasonal, if this this seems very niche to me. Like mm. if this oh, was, okay. this mm -hmm. this might be a good okay. thing for like I'm lounging around in a pool all day. I want a good fruity beer. I want something that's going to be sweet. I'm not gonna. If I'm not paying attention to the fact that it's beer, this seems like a right. good mix to it. Beautiful. All right. Beautiful. Yeah. Good. I. Probably, I'd probably try it. Right I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I would get this one myself. So you're a two. Yeah, yeah I, I, I mean that makes sense. I, yeah, I get that. I, I can see that. I think for me, uh, the flavor is definitely better than the aroma. The aroma is good. The flavor is good. Um, but uh, I think I would put this at three. Recommend to a friend if they're looking for something sweet, but they they want something strong. Maybe they. Uh, are afraid of IPAs, but the fact that this one's hazy, plus all the tropical fruits, I think this would be like a good 
segue into double IPA world for someone who's maybe afraid of the bitterness that you would get from uh, higher malt, higher ABV beers. All right. Um, I'm kind of torn between a four and a three. Hmm. I think recommending to a friend would be great, especially someone who doesn't drink a lot of IPAs and doesn't like like bitter IPAs. Yep. This would be a cool beer for them. Uh, but I'm at like a four because I feel like if I were at a bar, I could easily see myself looking at it and going, oh, tropical double IPA, eight, eight you know, 0.4 percent. Like Easy. no brainer. I'm, <laughs> I'm choosing that one right now, especially if you know most of the other ones are under that. Uh, I would say I'm kind of a mix between uh, John and Big C. Uh, I, 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 I mean, obviously I would drink it if somebody got it for me, and I would kind of recommend it, just like John was saying. If somebody is not familiar with uh, IPAs or they're still kind of pulling out of that sweet market into that more bitter market. Right. Um, that's kind of where I sit with this. Again, if this one's a little bit more uh, bitter than I, I, I think most people realize, and it has that kind of back end to it, <laughs> DJ obviously uh, agreed with me on that, these guys didn't, but uh, nah, that's where I would put it. Oh, for me, I'd read this at the four, I'd buy it at a bar, mm. and it's because it's so good that when you say recommend to a friend on the three, I think you're already at the bar getting this beer, like, hey dude, get this. Trust me. That's interesting. Because as far as summer's concerned, especially we're in California that summer doesn't really matter because it's always 85 degrees here. <laughs> Drink this beer and you'll have a good time. Trust me. I mean for someone who doesn't like IPA, I see IPA. That's a pretty that's a pretty high rating there. Yeah. I've never been on camera to say that I, I hate IPA as well, but yes. I'm in the same boat. Definitely not an IPA fan. <laughs> Three out of the five. I think, I think only you and I are, huh? Yeah. yeah. Damn hotbeds. Hey everyone, thanks for watching Hop Curious Sampler Series Edition. We've got our hazy IPAs. Uh, please uh, like, subscribe, click, do whatever you need to do, comment below. Uh, if you guys got beers you want to throw at us, please send us beers or send us names of beers. We're more than happy to try them out. Thank you.